We have arrived in Bermuda. Join us as we see the different things that you can do on this island when you only have a few hours here. And then later, join us for dinner at one of our favorite restaurants on the Norwegian ship today on This Happy Place. Hi, Hi friends. friends. We have finally arrived in Bermuda. Bermuda. It only took much longer than like over 24 hours later than we were supposed to, but we're here. We're here. We already had breakfast this morning. We pulled into port. It took kind of a long time to pull in. Yeah, they like gotta go around the whole island to get here. But we are off on actually two separate adventures today. Jake's going snorkeling. Mm -hmm. And he is going to take the DJ, DJI. You got it. <laughs> it's like, I want to call it a DG. Yeah, we're guys. trying to get some underwater fish coral snorkeling footage for you. And then myself and Miles and the rest of the family, we're just going to go explore. We're going to try maybe to get to a beach, his first time to a beach, and see the rest of the island. Uh, well, not the rest of the island, some of the island in the eight hours we have here. <laughs> you know. As compared to 36. We're not salty. Not salty. Get it? Because ah, the ocean. The ocean. Ah. But I'm going to switch to my my phone. So the, you know, we're going to have some different quality footage in this. But I think it's all going to be pretty good. I just don't want to get this bad boy all sandy. Mm. Come on. Let's go. If we ever can get off the ship. We'll see. And just like that, folks, we made it off the ship. Finally, it is a beautiful day here in Bermuda, and just look at that beautiful ship. My goodness. Norwegian ships do look pretty, don't they? But everybody's making their way to their excursions an hour later than expected because the pilot didn't pick us up till an hour later than expected this morning, but all the excursions are still going on, so come on, let's check it out. quite sure how bad the wind noise is going to be. It's very windy out here today, so sorry if you're catching a lot of that. I'll try to block it. But um, yeah, man, it is, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people on this ship. And most of the excursions when you come off the ship in Bermuda are gonna be like immediately at the end of the pier. You pretty much walk right into the line for the excursions. The shipwrecked snorkel and speaking with other people the helmet diving seems to be a little bit further away there's a ramp to your right right when you get off the ship you have to go down to get to that excursion there's not really anybody there right now waiting so maybe the operator will show up soon until then i think we just wait and enjoy this view okay so a little change of plans with snorkeling uh, they say it's too windy today the water is pretty choppy so normally they would take you about five miles out and snorkel at two shipwrecks but they're not able to do that today so we're still going to snorkel at some shipwrecks that are a little closer to shore and uh, on a glass bottom boat which they did say as one of the disclaimers when booking the excursion that that was a possibility and with the storm blowing out just yesterday I'm not terribly surprised but just another change in the plans we're going to try to adapt and it sounds like it's still going to be a good time I still get to snorkel still get to see the reef i hear there's drinks involved let's go okay we just got on the ship for the glass bottom snorkeling tour we have a little bit of a ride ahead of us till we get there i'll check it with you when we do uh, until then let's go see what the rest of the family's up to over to you tay the family picked Horseshoe Bay Beach to spend the day, which is kind of the beach you have to visit when you're only in Bermuda for such a short period of time. It is the most famous and undoubtedly one of the most beautiful beaches in the entire world. From the cruise port to the beach, it was a 40 minute drive and you got to see some really beautiful views and some cool architecture. It, seemed really really fast and i definitely think it was worth it we made it to the beach it was a seven dollar per person transfer you could just pay when you got here they had a ton of buses right off the ship so that was super easy and we bought some 
chairs and some umbrellas just so we had cover and somewhere to sit, somewhere to sit miles. It's beautiful here. It is really, really beautiful. I cannot wait to get in this water. I heard someone say it's a little cold though. So, oh, I cannot wait. Everything's gonna be sandy, everything. But it's soft. I'm very glad to have come. So far, this has been absolutely hilarious. Kevi and Amari are funny. Passing out the rum swizzles right now. We're pretty close to where we're gonna put in to snorkel. Man, it is just looking so beautiful out here. I don't know if you can see the little shadows on the water, but there's a bunch of parafish swimming right along the shore. Or the rocks, I would call it a shore. <laughs> about as ready as we're gonna get so let's go get in the water see what we can find <laughs> Well, this really is just a little piece of paradise here. This tiny little beach behind me. Every one of these rocks is like these little cuts and grooves and like tiny little inlets in them. And there's just like little fish and then bigger fish and then bigger fish. And there's this one like particularly large something other with a blue beak, I don't know what it is, that just like <laughs> I would go and try to get close to it and then turn around and go to get something else. I would look behind me and it was falling. <laughs> it was like trying to chase me out of its little hole. This is fun. <clears throat> this is a good time. If you're even re like moderately athletic and, and a decent swimmer, they give you everything you need. Snorkel, life fest. The, the flippers make it. They make it so much easier. Come and do this. This is awesome. The sun is nice, but man, you get out of the water, the wind's going. It is chilly. We got nice music playing now. They're handing out more rum swizzles, occasionally just pouring dark rum into people's mouths when they ask for it. It's been great so far. And now we're just sort of just floating in this really pretty inlet where we just got done snorkeling. I think we're going to the shipwreck next, so we'll see. We have made it back from the beach. What a wonderful day. I'll tell you about it in a little bit if I didn't do it in voiceover. But we're gonna check out some of the shops. 
check them out and uh, probably not buy anything, but you never know. But check it out. Got myself a little popsicle. Look at that guy. There's a full kiwi in there. And I'm gonna share it with Miles, but it's a lot of flavors. There's a lot of flavors, mostly kiwi, I think. I made it back. I survived a beach day with lots of help, but with my kid. And it was so much fun and I loved it. I cannot wait to hear what Jake thought of his trip. Also, we got cookies and that's pretty cool. <laughs> but I gotta clean up, wait for Jake to get back and go to dinner tonight. So we will, we'll meet up. We'll do a little, a little roundup review. I will say right now, one day, eight hours was not enough time in Bermuda. I cannot wait to come back. The baby loves himself. Three rum swizzles and three mouth pours of gosling stark rum. Later, we are on our way back to the port. Um, gonna check on the ship, see if Tilly's back, because I don't have the Wi-Fi's on Bermuda. So I'm pretty much just a um, man up a big creek without a paddle right now. No communication. I don't know what to do with myself. Let's see if anybody made it back to the ship. Okay, but for real though, that was a ton of fun. Gabby and Amari are hilarious. They run a very good tour. The, uh, I, don't know, I guess this was the equivalent of the glass bottom shipwreck tour combined with the snorkeling tour. We didn't get to snorkel at the shipwreck. But we got to snorkel with, you know, all the coral and the fish. It was pretty cool. Holy crap, there's a floating rum bar right here. Oh boy. Well. So on a whim, I decided to make my way to Horseshoe Beach. Got a couple hours left before the ship leaves, and it's only about a 20 minute drive here by taxi, so. And there's mini buses and things like that too. Maybe I'll mini bus on the way back and see how it is. So just gonna take a quick walk around, say I was here, touch the sand, and then we'll head back on a mini bus and call it a day. This really is one of the most beautiful beaches that I have ever been to. Just, it's like insulated from everything. You can't really see society where you are. And the sun is just so crisp. Um, but I have bad news. I blew out my flip-flop. I blew out my flip-flop. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be water shoeing it back to uh, back to the port. That's okay. The dang waves got me. <laughs> Okay, couldn't help myself. One last stop. One frog in the onion pub. It's a classic. It's well known. Yeah. All right, there you go. Last experience in Bermuda. The summer's amber ale at the frog and onion. What a classic. For real, for real, heading back to the island. Ship. Where am I going? Who look at anchor. been a good day. I wish we could have had two days in Bermuda like we were supposed to. This is a lovely place. <sighs> guess we'll just have to come back. I guess we'll just have to come back. But seriously, the excursion was wonderful. Snorkeling was excellent. Despite the water being a little bit cloudy with the storm blowing out yesterday, I still felt like I could see the fish just fine and the coral and everything was really cool. The, uh, you know, the three rum swizzles and three mouth shots of Gosling's Dark Rum didn't hurt either. But, hey, you know, I guess they know their audience. So, good times. Good times on Bermuda. Time to set my way back to the Norwegian Joy. Look at her. What a beaut. What a beaut. Uh, 
have bad news. What? I blew up my flip flop. You blew it up? I blew out my flip flop. Yeah. Which part? The toe or a side tong? It was the toe. Oh. It was the toe. Dude, you look dapper as hell. <laughs> what have you been doing today? Well, Dad, I, bet I was on the beach. <laughs> He was so good. Oh, he wow. was so good. Oh. And we've got runners. We made it. We made it. We will, we'll do a roundup before dinner of what we each thought of the experiences. And it'll be real quick, short to the point, and then we're going to Food Republic. Yeah, but right now we gotta get this kid some eats. He's hungry. He's hungry. So, to the buffet. To the buffet. Oh, I'm And just like so that, I we have pushed away from our meal. Two to four uh, have been confirmed as still that it being on fits before. We have like, very bad luck with shows on uh, Norwegian trips. No kidding. Yeah, because the last one they like weren't ready to yeah. put on the shows, right? Yeah. And then this one, like everybody broke their faces or whatever. Yeah. That's what I shouldn't say. I don't know what it was. I hope they're all okay. Yeah. But like for real though. Oh, that's Quick tutorial on how these touchscreen ordering system works in food you, Republic. You go through, pick what you want. They have sushi, and then the main. We already ordered. Co we ordered cocktails with our waiter, and then you go know, like here, and then it tells you what is all in it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting this 100%. <laughs> and you hit order. And wow, those mechanical blinds! Holy crap! Look at that. I know, I do like that. And then you go, when you're done, so we ordered tuna, nachos, some sushi. Mm -hmm. Jake ordered the kimchi fried rice and I had, mm -hmm. I got the Thai steak. And you go, I want to pay. And then, do you hit this? That one now? Yeah. Okay, we send the order. Okay. Ah. We'll probably order more. So. Well, we'll see. That's yeah, a lot. We'll see. It's order. a lot of food. Thank we'll you. see. So that's how it's done. And then you do you do this. Please tap and hold your card to this with this. Do it. Or do we just? Oh, it did it. We got uh, the pancho. Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza. You got um, this. It's basically a margarita. It has tequila and salt rim. You yeah, know? but it's like a different color. There's got to be something else in there. You like it? It's really tart. Uh -oh. I do like it. It's very tart. Oh. I love sour, so that's good for me, but it's like really tart. Huh. They kind of taste like, um, like a sour... Jolly Rancher or oh. something with tequila, but it's definitely like a sour candy taste, but then tequila on it, so. It's awesome. This might be my favorite thing I've had so far, drink-wise, on the cruise. This is really good. All right, get you like two, three more of them. <laughs> See where it really goes. Good. <laughs> I got cool as a cucumber. We definitely had this on the Encore. Did we? Yeah, I remember that, because they have it at District Court House, too. It smells a little pickly. That might be the cucumbers. I hope it's not the vodka. I mean, no. It's good. It's just so refreshing. And like after a day in the sun of doing nothing but drinking dark rum and fruit juice, this is nice. This is nice. All right, starting with our dynamite rolls and the tuna nachos. Yeah, I need to take my shot. I didn't take your picture, Jake. All right, here's my steak salad. Wait, this is gonna be delicious. <laughs> oh, and our pilot is leaving us. We are at sea officially again. 
Oh, that guy loves his job though, man. <laughs> yeah, he loves his job. That's so cool. You got it. I did it. Okay. <laughs> but when the noodles get involved. One. You got this. Also a little bit spicy. Yeah, everything's got Make a, my little, run spicy, a little bit of burn. We have made our way to District Brew House, which was one of our favorites on the Encore. Jake got the NCL Ale. Had to. Dinner was good for me. Jake, we saw her like 45 minutes. Jake's was never served to him. We watched everyone else around us get food, including the same dish that he ordered. And when we questioned it, they're like, oh yeah, we just missed it. So he got refunded for that, of course. And they invited us back tomorrow. But like, you know, it's a little bit of a letdown when that happens. Food was good, but service, man, can be rough sometimes. So Jake's gonna get a beer. Well, he got a beer. You know, beer. I got beer. I'm good. Well, not quite the dinner I had in mind, but <clears throat> gosh darn it, it's the dinner I got. A little fried rice, got a little, uh, I guess sweet and sour pork, we'll call it, but it's breaded and there's peppers in there, some uh, veggie rolls, and Korean style barbecue beef, so pretty excited about it, actually. The complimentary food in general, whilst we've been on the ship, has been a big step up. I think we said that in previous versions, but just like over and over again, it seems like we have really improved that. So maybe we, we were uh, a little bit harsh in the last vlogs. No, no, we weren't. That food was, some of it was inedible. All of the complimentary dining we've had so far has been tops. So, good stuff. Tay, what'd you get? Um, just eat. Just Asian. Just I got a roll and noodles and chicken and vegetables. Yeah, good. good it's good. real brown. A lot of brown. A lot of brown on that plate. Delicious, delicious brown. Finishing okay. with ice cream. Oh, you got chocolate ice cream on my vanilla ice cream. You got vanilla cream. ice cream on my squirrel ice cream. <sighs> Only my third of the trip. Ice cream has been it. It. Dinner one and two have mm -hmm. been it. Sure did. And we're just chilling in the observation lounge, so we thought we would um, finish this up. Bermuda. Win. Oh, it was so good. I'm, I'm so sad that we missed yesterday here. I know yeah. the weather was bad, so we probably wouldn't, even if we were here, we wouldn't have been able to enjoy the island. Yeah. But I want to come back someday and just spend some time here because it was really fabulous. For sure. I would come back and just like sp spend a few days at one of the hotels. Definitely. Yeah. But we have one more day at sea tomorrow. Yeah. Make sure you like this video. Thumbs up. Bell icon. You know what to do. Follow us on Instagram. Put it all down below. Oh yeah, lots of good cruise photos on the on the gram slate. Right? Yeah, they'll be coming up. And then by the time those are over, we're going back to Disney. Disney. So you're gonna see more. Yeah. See y'all real soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Next week for you. Tomorrow for us. Mm -hmm. Until then. Stay, stay magical. magical. I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that this is actually the final vlog for this series. On our last day at sea, we encountered some pretty big swells and it left me very seasick. Even if you have never dealt with motion sickness, make sure that you pack those seasickness remedies when you go on a cruise because you never know. I spent a lot of the day just fighting queasiness and because the weather was so bad, we were stuck inside a lot. But the good news is this is not the end of the series. We have some more videos about cruising on the joy and cruising in general coming out your way in the following weeks. So we look forward to seeing you then and 
Until next time, stay magical. I don't know. I don't know, man. Colorblind me is having a hard time calling this sand pink. If it's like, oh my God. <laughs> well, we all made it back on the boat. Let me try it again. Well, we all made it back on the ship. So I'm gonna hate in the comments. It's a ship, it's a ship. <laughs> How would you dare call it a boat? I Four hours of karaoke in the cabin. That's a lot of karaoke. That's too much karaoke. After I was done snorkeling today, right? Apparently I had a bunch of like seawater in my sinuses. Cause I like- When you inhaled some of it? I, at some point, yeah. Cause I sat down and I like bent over to try to like get the camera out of the bag. And my whole nose turned into like a faucet nose. <laughs> I was like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, stop, stop, stop. And that's how it was. You gonna make a take? Oh God. I'm ready, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> home doesn't move, usually. Home doesn't move. This is... We home were... also doesn't take you to Bermuda. Although True. this ship also almost <laughs> didn't take us to Bermuda. So, yeah. <laughs>